peaceful protest is being organized by the trade union representing workers in Croatia's biggest ferry company, Iadrolinia. The protest, which is taking place in all the major ferry ports, is due to the fact that Iadrolinia's employees are dissatisfied with their working conditions and the management's reluctance to sign a new collective agreement. The day of Croatian diplomacy was marked in Zagreb today. President Kolinda Grabakitarovic and Foreign Minister Vesna Pusic this morning opened a conference organized by the Diplomatic Academy in cooperation with the Hans Seidel Foundation. Both emphasized the significant role diplomacy played in achieving the key Croatian foreign policy goals of EU and NATO membership. Croatia is offering free legal assistance to victims of racial discrimination and has drafted a migration strategy. According to the European Commission Against Racism and Intolerance, an independent human rights monitoring body, the two policies comply with the recommendations made by European experts. When it comes to educating lawyers for the handling of discrimination cases, the Commission says that Croatia has complied in part. It has also welcomed programmes for the education of police officers in fighting hate crimes, but notes shortcomings in the long-term education of judges, prosecutors and lawyers. Parliament's Constitutional Committee today discussed the government's strategy for the development of the public administration between 2015 and 2020. The main aim is to improve transparency and efficiency, and the strategy deals with the provision of public services, the strengthening of human resources, and the rationalisation of the public administration system. Administration Minister Arsene Bauk emphasised that the plan envisaged and analysed the public administration's territorial organisation, but didn't stipulate how that should look in terms of its political context. On the occasion of the International Day of Archives, the recently restored statute of the Dubrovnik Republic was presented to the public today. The 15th century manuscript, which documents the statute drawn up in 1272, is one of the most valuable books in Dubrovnik's archives, and after seven years of restoration has now been returned to the rector's palace. Sport and football. Ahead of Friday's crucial European qualifier against Italy in split, the national squad continues its preparations. Training sessions are open to the public as the actual match will be played before an empty stadium due to a UEFA fine. And the third game in the series for the final of the Croatian Basketball Championships is being played tonight. Zagreb Cedevita are leading the best of five series against cross-town rival Tsibona 2-0. If Cedevita win tonight, they take the title. The game tips off at 7 p.m. and is being broadcast by Croatian Television's second channel. This afternoon's forecast calls for mostly sunny weather. There will be a moderate build-up of cloud which could lead to the possibility of rain showers and thunderstorms, especially along the Dalmatian coast and in its interior. On the central and southern Adriatic, there will be a light to moderate southwesterly and northwesterly wind, while on the northern Adriatic, especially in the Velebit Channel, there will be a moderate to strong northeasterly Bura wind, which will weaken during the afternoon. The day's highest temperatures will be between 27 and 32 degrees Celsius. From tomorrow, more unstable weather is expected. There will be a moderate to strong cloud development with the possibility of rain showers and thunderstorms. The most unstable weather is expected on Wednesday. Temperatures will also drop a little. On the coast, the next few days won't be completely stable either. The chance of rain showers is greatest on Wednesday, but there is a possibility of them on Thursday as well. In the morning, there will be a light northeasterly Bura wind with a northwesterly and southwesterly wind during the day.